Hello, makers, and welcome back to the studio. Now, this week, I wanted to share some thoughts with you on colors and shapes and how they go together. And as you may have heard me say in the past on this channel, when you're working projects, listen to your materials, listen to your paper, listen to your canvas, and it will tell you oftentimes what you need to do. Now, we all have an innate sense of design. Whether we think about it or not, we're actually designed as human beings to see symmetry and to see relationships between different objects. We like things that have a certain context and balance and are really drawn away from things that don't. And you can test this out with your own appreciation of art. And they're, one of the things any artist can tell you is I can sit down and I can make something and I can look at it and say, yeah, something's missing. And I can create something that you may look at and say, well, it looks pretty much like you made the same thing, but I'll say yes, except this time it works. Now, what does that mean? What is that thing that works? Well, that's what I wanna explore a little bit today. I wanna to talk about this idea that when we have our materials in front of us, how we adjust them, how we control them, and how we put them together makes all the difference. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So a few uh, videos ago, you may have seen me working on this project here. It's called Nautilus, and it's really some basic geometric shapes that we combined to create something interesting. This is the objective, and we managed to uh, fulfill that objective. But as I was putting the paper pieces that I was using for that project away, it occurred to me that we had some interesting pieces. For example, here is one of the pieces that we have. So this yellow piece, which we took a curve out of, kind of interesting, but if I put this down and say, all right, let's, uh, let's say that this is kind of a foundation and maybe that gap is gonna have something to do with it. And I had another piece in which I cut the semicircle out of, so I have this navy blue color. And if I start to look at both these pieces and say, is there a relationship that they might have if I were to you know, lay one on top of the other, you start to see that there kind of is this interesting cutout. And I have a, a third shape, which is this light blue color. And if I were to slide this in and say a background, right, and just stack these three, I'm just taking pieces of paper that basically have cut up, and by putting them together, I start to get something different. And this is one of the things I talk about when I'm saying, listen to the materials, it will guide you. Is because I can look at this and say, that's pretty cool, but what happens if I turn the piece of paper this way, right? And I get a very different look and feel. And the way the colors work together and talk to one another, you could almost say, wow, by itself, that could be kind of cool. And so what I want you to be able to think about when you work on your materials in the future is what is the paper? What are the colors? What is the canvas trying to tell you as you pull these different things together? Let's take a look at something else and just see if we can create something that will, will work for us as well. I have a few more pieces here. Again, so here's a, you know, we took a couple of semicircles out of this. So we have this green piece here. We'll use that as a foundation, see what happens. And then, uh, I don't know, let's put it like that. And then I have a, a purple piece, this guy right here, which has just a little circle cut out. We just needed the color. But if I overlay these, um, again, I get this nice pop of the green coming through the purple. Now, is that art? Well, it remains to be seen. But I have another piece that randomly I had to cut a few pieces out of. I could, took an arc out of. But I find if I drop this in on top of the purple, let's say like that, it creates something very interesting. Now, you're probably seeing it slightly different from how I am. But the point is we have this interesting arc. We have a cutout here with a pop of color. We have kind of an irregular shape up here. And conceivably, let's just, let's add something to this just to make it even stranger. Let's see what I have here. I have a, a piece of red. Uh, if I were to take this red piece and bring it in, well, let's see. Again, I might, I might have to adjust things. That's gonna to obscure too much of what's already in here. Um, again, I could do something, you know, I could move my blue on top of something like this. So I have you know, something like that instead. Anyway, the point I wanna make is that there's no right answer for anything we're doing. And by layering these things in here simply and creating a good relationship between the colors and creating things that really pop, if that's what you're trying to do, or blend together, again, if that's what you're trying to do, is gonna make a big difference. And I'm just using basically scrap pieces of paper to see if there's anything here. If I were to glue these down and say, yes, I made a piece of art, is it, right? And so that's all I really wanna be able to get through today is how can I 
with just materials I have lying around and say, well, if I combine it like this and like this and, and put this, you know, over here like this, what, what difference does it make in the outcome? And it, it may not be a, a difference. You may look at it and say, yeah, no, right? Or you may look at it and say, wow, I'm seeing something there. And I want you to do that. I want you to be able to feel comfortable going on an exploration with your materials. That's really it. How can I take the things I have already, whether it's pieces of paper, whether it's paint, whether it's things I cut out of a magazine, and how can I combine them in a way that will make my brain go, ooh, I think you're, I think you're almost there. Something is happening, right? Anyway, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for your time and attention. Again, if you like what you're seeing here at Mixed Media Masters, we'd love to have you visit us on a regular basis. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll let you know whenever we drop a new video. That's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for dropping by, and I'll see you next time.